Hello traders and investors, I'm L.A. Little, this is your daily NEOTA wrap. We take a look at these markets from a neoclassical perspective. We're looking at supply and demand on the charts. We're using that information uh, to make decisions about trend, about when to enter, when to exit. Do the show four times a week, Monday through Thursday, broadcast at before 10 o'clock Eastern Time. It's archived on YouTube and it's under the channel, L.A. Little. If you want to subscribe, you can just reach up in the right hand corner. Do so anytime I push content, you'll get a notification. And as we look at the uh, numbers here, uh, the NASDAQ, the NDX, they were leading the pack here up a half a percent each 34 and 32, putting them at 63.83 and 59.34. Russell just barely uh, up, and same thing with the SP up four points. It gold, junk bonds, dollar. Uh, pretty much flat. Same thing with bonds, a little bit on the upside. If you look at the sectors themselves, uh, not a lot of positive uh, uh, big gains. The uh, biggest gain here on the SOX, that was kind of leading at 1.7% higher. But outside of that, uh, not much happening. If we move over and look at the charts in the uh, S&P 500, you can see a continuation of what has been going on and that is, is that this market is just hanging up here inside this bar. A lot of times you'll get a bar that holds for a while, you know, big wide price spread, wide price spread, high volume bar. And that is what we have on this bar. You had the same thing back here to held for a while and then it broke to the upside and when it did that allowed for the new range. Well, question here is, is it going to break and do it again or is it going to break back down? Still hasn't came back down off this latest run up. The bullish retest region is down in this area. It'd be the second test if it did. Uh, but again, this is the range. This range so far is holding. And we'll just have to continue to monitor it. The thing is, is the trend is up. You know, when you have a trend that's up like this one, you just have to stay with the trend until it tells you not to, right? Sideways here, trends up, sideways again eventually should break to the upside that's usually what happens with trends they reestablish themselves and they continue so we'll have to see if that one does on the flip side the one that can't is the russell the russell keeps going to the downside it can't go to the upside and so when we look at it you know the russell keeps uh trading in this uh range the range there's three swing point lows down here it's near them got near them now it's kind of trying to push back the other way that range has been in effect for a long time. Basically, that's the top of it. You got a little bit above it. But uh, this swing point high here, that was the bullish retest. When it came back, it failed, got underneath it. Yes, it can move back up into the highs of it, but more than likely, it's going to come back down and test lower again. So the Russell, a very different picture than you see on the S&P 500 or on the Dow itself. If you look at the NASDAQ and the NDX, uh, the, there's a different picture going on there. And that is, is that you have a wide price spread range up here. That's this bar. And uh, it's been holding in this lower half of it. If it can get above this, right, then it can go test the top. And so the NASDAQ is still doing the same thing it's been doing. And that is holding inside of a larger range. You had a range back here. It got underneath it. Eventually broke to the upside and now it's in the same sort of position. It's the same deal day after day. It hasn't really changed and that is is that these markets continue to trade sideways for the most part. Uh, they haven't been able to break out uh, but they haven't broken down either and when you see markets that hang like these have hung uh, you eventually expect the dominant trend to take over again which is to be upside. Sox. The Sox has been struggling and um, today had a big day, 1.72%, and it's inside of a big range itself. Uh, let's see, XLB, and I'm just going to glance at these to see if they, if there's any changes, and um, not really. Uh, doing the same thing. Let's see about energy. Energy was struggling all day again, and energy's coming back into the bottom of this big white price spread swing point low that's just a tough trade energy is a tough trade XLF financials uh, they hit highs last week pulled back a little bit today and so far the financials actually look good everything they've done is is what you'd want 
You had a swing point high here, you broke over it, you came back, you did a full retest, and now you regenerated to the top side. I mean, you can't ask for more. So financials have been uh, helping uh, this market uh, work higher, and the other big piece of it has been technology. Technology, uh, like the NDX and the NASDAQ, uh, they're in this range, they stay in that range, uh, but they're going back up to try to test the top side of it again. Uh, consumer discretionary, another big weighted sector. That one's can't do anything. Healthcare, the last of the big weighted, also can't do anything. So you've got just a couple sectors, so the important ones. Uh, that's uh, technology and financials holding this market up. I can't say it enough, you know, eventually this market's going to find a way to correct, but right now there's still nothing out here that I see. Uh, telling us that's going to happen. So that's it for tonight. Have a great one. I'll see you next time.